Hello again, we are back for another three months of frenzied transfer speculation and top class action from the very highest level of world football. If you've never watched us before, we are World Cup Spy, the Daily Mirror's in-house transfer roundup service. We've got an absolutely massive prize on offer for you in our special World Cup Spy competition. And this summer, we've got some very, very big players involved indeed. Jose wants the cream of the Premier League. Roberto Mancini needs the players that will take his city side into the Champions League. But Harry's after the players that will keep Spurs in that competition. Arsenal need to get the superstars to either keep or replace Cesc Fabregas. And Liverpool, well, they need a miracle. Carlo wants the reinforcements to stay at the top. So Alex is looking for the shrewd buys to topple him. World Cup Spy will keep you abreast of all the big names and all the movers and the shakers as the clock ticks down to deadline day on August the 31st. Now, as you know, a familiar feature of our first show of every window is a look at the transfer targets that we expect to dominate over the subsequent three months. We've got two lists for you this summer, as there are some you know and some that may not be quite so familiar. So ha let's have a look first at the usual suspects. Cesc Fabregas is at number 10. Get ready for a long three months because Barca want him. Arsenal obviously want to keep him and this one could run and run. Fernando Torres is at nine. No Champions League football for him at Liverpool and both City and Chelsea head the chasing pack. Joe Cole's at eight. We hear Man United want to sign him but Arsenal no less are among the many rivals for Joe's signature on a free transfer. At seven, it's the Wolfsburg striker Eden Zeko. I don't rate him myself, but he's got a huge reputation and an even bigger price tag. City want him, but Spurs are also keen. Uh, Barcelona's Latan Ibrahimovic is at six. And I, he's another that I don't personally rate, but he's on the market as Barca have just bought the super striker David Villa. Ibrahimovic has been offered to Chelsea and yes, you guessed it, Man City. Steven Pienaar's at five. He's got a year left on his contract at Everton and he's refusing to sign a new one. There are whispers that Arsenal could be interested. Spurs want to sell the striker Roman Pavlyuchenko to the highest bidder. He's at four. Locomotive Moscow have been negotiating with them for quite some time. At three, it's super Frankie Lampard, 20 plus goals in each of the last six seasons. That's the reason why Jose Mourinho wants him at Real Madrid. At two, it's Ashley Cole. Jose Mourinho has also been in a bit of trouble for pinching him from Arsenal for Chelsea. Let battle commence in the special ones bid to take him to Real Madrid from Chelsea. And, and waiting for him could be Liverpool's Steven Gerrard. He's at number one. He's going to be in the Europa League next season or he could move into the Champions League playing alongside Ronaldo, Kaka, Alonso and Higain, all playing for Europe's hottest manager. We'll see what happens there. Now, competition time of this year, the prize is absolutely massive. We'll have a few going on, but this one's the biggest. Never mind football boots and sports bags. The winner of our special Sony-sponsored World Cup spy competition will get two tickets to go to the World Cup final itself. Flights and accommodation will be paid for if you win, and all you have to do is something special on video and load it to your YouTube page. Then send it to us at youtube.com slash mirror football. It could be an example of some super skills, some silly stunts, film yourself singing your World Cup song, doing an impression of football stars, or maybe something silly like sitting in a bath of old beans. I wouldn't recommend that myself. Um, or maybe even something like talking straight to the camera about someone who you think really deserves to go all the way to the final. They could be an inspirational teacher, a brave serviceman or woman, or just the biggest football fan that you've ever met. Let us know. Upload your video. It's got to be all your own work. No licking stuff off the internet. And uh, upload it to youtube.com slash mirrorfootball and the chaps at Sony will do the rest. The best of the entries will be featured in the Daily Mirror newspaper here in England and on mirrorfootball.co.uk in the run-up to judging on June the 18th. Now, we've told you all about the usual suspects of familiar names to look out for this summer. Uh, with, now, let's have a look at some of the more obscure transfer targets that you'll be hearing about over the next couple of months. Stephen DeForce, the apple of Sir Alex Ferguson's eye, so much so that when the standard Liege midfielder was injured last year, Fergie sent him a note wishing him a, super, a speedy 
recovery. Now, why would he do that? Defoe's 22, he scored 12 goals in 123 appearances for Standard and he's got 23 caps for Belgium. I like the 22-year-old Benfica winger Angel Di Maria. The trouble is so too do quite a few clubs around Europe, including Man City, Man United and Real Madrid, but Benfica want £30 million for him. Chelsea like Luis Suarez, the Uruguay striker, a great deal. He's 23. He's going to be in action tonight in a fascinating game against France. And they'll have it all to do to stop him. He's scored 10 goals in 29 caps for Uruguay, but has scored just 35 league goals for Ajax. Mm, decent player. Uh, Lokomotiv Moscow have offered Spurs a chance to sign the 28-year-old Nigeria winger Peter Odenwingi. He's very, very fast and he's scored 21 goals in 74 appearances for the Russian club. We'll see how he gets on in Group B for Nigeria. Now, just time for one more. And one for all you Arsenal fans, because Laurent Koscielny is not in France's World Cup squad, but based on the last couple of seasons, it's only a matter of time. He plays at centre-half for the French club Lorient, and Arsene Wenger's trying very, very hard to sign him. He's 24, and he'd cost around £8 million. There's actually a few more, but we'll get to them over the next few days. Now, if you're wondering why we're not doing World Cup Spire from South Africa, as we said we would do back in January, well, we will be. From next Thursday, Football Spire will be broadcasting exclusively from the World Cup. We'll give you all the up-to-date news, views, and we will be broadcasting twice a day, seven days a week. In the meantime, send me your messages, tell, send me your tips for the tournament and why. Where should Joe Cole go now that Chelsea have released him? Who will be your stars of the tournament and who is going to win the Golden Boot? We've got a competition going with that one. I'll tell you more details on Monday. I think it's going to be the Brazil striker Luis Fabiano. Football Spy is back. Till then, enjoy your football and come on my tips for the World Cup, England.